Okay, so it's Father's Day this weekend, and we want to celebrate all of you awesome dads by making one of the most manly cakes possible. A barbecue grill cake. <laughs> and welcome to Cake Mom. Today we're gonna make an awesome cake. So we've got a pineapple cake that we baked here. We're gonna fill it with some guava and buttercream and we've just got a whole bunch of cool things that are gonna happen, so let's get to it. So we're gonna start by releasing this cake from the pan. I just baked my classic cake in a bowl. This is a tempered glass bowl. Don't just do it with any glass bowl. Cake. So this is going to be the bowl of the grill, so the bottom of the, of the cake. So we're going to trim this and cut it into three layers and go from there. All right, Emery's joined us. So we're going to continue. So I've just got some vanilla buttercream, just American buttercream that I made uh, this morning. So we're going to put a little bit in there. Can you spread it, Emery? Go ahead. Oh, okay, now you can't spread it. Our next layer, push it down, more buttercream, no you licked it, you don't get any more, put the top on, alright so then put the lid on and then we're going to dirty ice this and stick it in the freezer to harden. Of this. There we go. Emma, are you gonna help me smear it? Oh, yeah. Get some black. Alright. Good job. Put it on the cake. That's good. Good job. Don't lick it. Alright. I need to do it. Alright, you got it? layer, the top layer ring of my grill. So this is just a nine inch layer of cake. If I was a perfectionist, I would have a piece of cardboard cut out to the right size, but I don't. So I'm going to use a bowl. It's my bowl. All right, so then we're gonna take a little bit of black frosting and put it on our board. So before I try to frost this, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze it real quick. And I'm gonna get some frosting and a piping bag to make it easier. So now we are going to make some of the little <laughs> foods that we're gonna grill. So we made this marshmallow fondant, as you'll see, uh, last marshmallows. night. Marshmallows. From marshmallows, yeah. Where's my marshmallows? <laughs> They're in here. Yeah. So now we're gonna make some hot dogs and some shish kebabs, right? And some cheese. I wanna play. Yeah, we're gonna play. Alright, let's do this. So you need a little powdered sugar. I wanna play with that. Don't you worry, we're gonna play with that. Mm -hmm. A little bit on, on your hand. Put your hands in there. So you gotta start working this in order to get it warmed up enough to use. I want to open the mic. Is there marshmallows inside? There it is. I want to open them. I want to eat it. <laughs> I want to eat it. All right, what are you going to make? Um, a ball. You're going to make a ball? All right, so we finished our colors and now we're going to make our food. We're gonna start with, what do you make? Ubi, Ubi, monster. It's a monster? Is it an onion monster? No? Color monster. Color monster. So we're gonna start with 
classic, a hot dog or two. So we made this kind of brownish color. Mama, I made a cake. It's pretty straightforward, just kind of make, make a weenie. <laughs> You're making a snake with the clay. A snake or a hot dog? Whoa, snake or a hot dog? Is it a snake or a hot dog? Snake. Little, little sausage ends. Is it why I have the white balls? That's scary realistic. So next we're gonna make some little mushrooms for our kebabs. Like me. <laughs> so I made this kind of tan color I'm gonna use for the mushroom cap. I like that color. Mm. I want some of that All right, so now I'm gonna frost the rim here with this. It's gonna be fun. All right, so we have our little cake pop charcoals that we froze solid and we have this little Chef Master edible color spray from Hobby Lobby. So we're going to spray our little charcoals. Make them look like they're burning a little bit. So I'm gonna let that dry for just a second and we'll put them on our cake. So now we're gonna make some legs and wheels for our grill using some dowels and some extra cake pop. My barbecue master husband, you're only supposed to put charcoals in the middle of the grill. Comment below if you think that's right. Now we're going to get the grill top that I made and put it on here. So I'll be right back. I froze this. It's just a fondant grate that I painted with the silver spray paint. But it looks like my charcoals are a little bit too tall. So I'm going to fix that. We're gonna try this again. See where we're at. Pretty close. All right, to make sure nothing moves around, we're gonna just make a little buttercream border here. Good job, Emery. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a whole, it's just glue at this point. Oh my gosh, it's bending. Okay. All right, so now we're going to arrange some food on here to make it look really realistic. Hamburgers. The hamburgers on their side over here. Check out this fabulous shish kebab. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's some hot dogs. Okay, YouTube, what do you guys think? <laughs> I like it, I think it looks pretty good. If you liked this, comment down below. If you think I should have changed it, comment down below, and next time I will make it differently. So now I'm gonna add some finishing touches to make this food look realistic, and then we also have some feet to put on this thing. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna put some little grill marks on my hot dogs so they look real-ish. I'm just gonna take some black food coloring, a little paintbrush, just kind of paint a skewer here.
All right, we finished it. Ta-da! <laughs> anyway, tell us what you think. I thought it turned out pretty cool. And it's mostly edible. Everything except the little wood skewer. Anyway, here we go. So if you liked our video, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notifications bell. Uh, we had a great time making this and we just wanted to say to all of you wonderful dads out there, happy Father's Day and thank you for doing what you do because it is one of the hardest jobs on the planet and we appreciate you. So, happy Father's Day. Let's say it's a boat.